barbecue season, so I thought I'd share with you a few tips on how to grill the perfect steak. There are many different cuts of meat that we call steak. They all have a slightly different taste and texture. My favorite choice of steak is the ribeye. Just look at this cut. What you are looking for in the ribeye is a rich color and good marbleization throughout. The marbleization helps the steak remain tender. As the steak cooks, the marbling starts to melt into the meat and acts as a self-basting process. This is what's going to make this steak melt in your mouth. Because this cut has so much natural flavor, I want to keep it simple. Complement it, not cover it up. Some steaks are best done simply. All you need to do to enhance your natural flavor is a little light seasoning. As alternatives to ribeye, top sirloin and flying steak are two options that are easier on the wallet but still great on the grill. Top sirloin is located between the hip and the loin. It's naturally lean and bursting with bold, beefy flavors, which makes this a great choice for the barbecue. Top sirloin can take quite a bit of seasoning without compromising the natural flavors of the meat. Just spoon out a generous amount of rub seasoning, about a tablespoon. Rub it into the steak. Let it sit for a few minutes, and then you're ready for the barbecue. If you want more, remember to use a clean spoon. Top sirloin is best grilled at medium temperatures for about 15 minutes. For the flank steak, try something with spicy flavors like La Grill Spicy Pepper Medley Season. Just shake on generous amounts on both sides of the steak and let it sit for a few minutes. Because flank steak is tougher, marinating is another good option to tenderize and add flavor. The flank steak that has been seasoned is best grilled for a short period of time on high heat. The high heat locks in the juices. It is best not to grill the meat beyond medium rare if you want the perfect combination of flavor and texture or for about 12 minutes. Let's heat up the grill. Now that your meat is ready for the grill, heat up your barbecue. It's really important to learn where the hot spots and cold spots are on your grill. This allows you to place a steak in the right cooking zone for the most appropriate even heat source. A question I get asked a lot is how often should I flip a steak during barbecue? Flip gently just once and remember to always use a pair of tongs so that you avoid piercing the meat allowing those great juices to stay sealed in. Let the steak rest. After you take the steak off the grill, let it rest for a few minutes before serving it. This way the juices inside will settle, allowing for great even flavor and texture. And there you have it, the perfect grilled steak every time.